guys welcome back to the channel as you saw in the intro clip we got our brake lines from firepunk so i went ahead and i tacked our or not tacked i finished welded our mounting tabs and i got our lines pretty much ran um the other thing i did off camera i'll show you guys the before clip is i relumed my factory harness from uh basically under the cab back so it's all relumed now looks a lot nicer you guys can see all the p clamps that we used um, to secure the harness now that all of these cross members and stuff are kind of Gone so to speak we had to redo that as well and then here is our Brake line so just like we had talked about we got this soft line that goes from uh, This bulkhead fitting to here And then this is what we were waiting on uh, To be fair to save some shipping. I had wind bend them kind of in a circle to fit in a box so I had to undo it. Uh, the only issue that we have is this right here. Um, I already have kind of a solution for that. I'm going to just go ahead and put a P clamp through this, like drill a hole um, through the drag link or pan hard bar mount here and basically pull this out. It'll secure it, make it nice and easy for us. Uh, definitely. Knocked it out of the park though on following the factory axle even after I twisted it out of the block or box. And then here's our other side right here. You guys can see, same thing. Made sure they were even. That way, one less thing for me to be OCD and just tight enough that it's not going to snag and just loose enough that there's a little give here. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Stainless brake lines. Love it um now we're gonna call it a night for tonight uh the the wiring harness part took me like three hours and i figured you guys didn't want to watch that so you guys can see here though all nice and tidied up and uh, i color coded it the factory harness is red the auxiliary harnesses are black the only thing left electrically that we have to do is hook up our trans cooler wires here, I'm going to change these over to Deutsch style connectors. Uh, it should make for an easier removal. Um, and that's kind of where it sits for tonight. We'll pick this back up in the morning. New day. And we're already starting off good. Uh, so we got our missing bulkhead nut from uh, overnight shipped. Uh, that did show up on time. And so did our little uh, 3AN, 3AN coupler. So we got this. Now we can do the front back is done like i said not super tight but not gonna get caught on anything big fan of that coming over here not super tight but not gonna get caught on any of that either so big fan of how this turned out we made it look nice and even brake line looks good on the diff so all in all great success now let's move on to the front not sure if we'll be able to get a camera in there so you guys can watch me do it. Um, so we'll just play it by ear.
Okay, so this is where we're currently at. Um, I used zip ties and a piece of rubber hose to isolate this so it went through the bracket. Looks factory-ish. I uh, got our coupler in, ABS tight, lower part tight. I got our brake line. I just put a P-clamp and an M6 bolt through the factory bracket like that down there. And now I have the brake line. I'm gonna go run and grab the keys to this thing. Uh, the big thing I wanna make sure is that when we turn the wheel all the way to the right, there's enough slack here that it doesn't rip the brake line out. And then the other thing, when I turn it all the way this way, I wanna make sure that the hose has enough room to kind of go up um, without binding up or kinking or anything like that. Uh, with the factory stuff, the ABS was attached to the brake line. Uh, now that obviously we're using a different style brake line, that is not an option. So I'm gonna just zip tie it together. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal. There's there's really not that much wind in this wheel well uh, from personal experience. Like you can leave some tools in this area and go on a test drive and come back and they're usually right where you left them. So I'm gonna grab the keys, check our lock to lock, and then we can move on to the other side. Now that we have the key in, we should be able to turn this. See, that was my that was my worry there thought we were a little off okay so i'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit the nice part is this is as low as the front end can droop really because of the shocks so we have a little bit of slack we will move the p-clamp over and should be good to go and here is full lock the other way so other than zip tying this ABS wire down a little bit, I think we'll be good on the brakes. I got that P-clamp tightened up, so I'm gonna zip tie these lines together in a couple of spots, and uh, we should be good to go. Moving on to the other side, which it's kind of dark over there, so I'll just get it done and show you guys, but brake lines are in, one more line, and we can put some brake fluid in here, get to bleeding these suckers. Um, really excited to do that i'm sure but it would be nice to uh get this thing back down on its actual tires and see what it looks like Alrighty then passenger side done fit great got it all secured uh and yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and put all the tires on the front here and then one last thing i gotta do before we could set the bed on i have to uh uh ggs hook up our trans cooler wiring and then i also need to shorten this an line here about about five inches or so um so i'm gonna take care of that while the bed's off It'll be a lot easier collect all the trans fluid that's i'm sure gonna leak out of this thing but is what it is i guess so we're gonna get that going and then we should be Ready to set it all the way down, put our tires on, uh, or sorry, bed back on. Okay. Everything's loomed up here, secured, got our nice junction, move the ground over here. I was using the mounting points as a ground, but decided to do away with that. All new loom, clean, 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 name of the game. And now, if I gotta drain these trans coolers or remove them or whatever, Deutsch plugs for the win. I'm gonna get this line shortened up and getting close to the end here.
Trans line is officially shortened, tucked up here, nice and neat. And now we're gonna throw our fuel cell in. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna throw the fuel cell in. I, I did have a couple offers for help, but I'll just fight with this bed by myself. My goal is basically put the fuel tank on here, get everything primed back up, start the truck, drive it out to one of our storage units in the back there, grab the shop crane, um, pick the bed up in the storage unit with the shop crane, and then back the truck in with the bed, drop the bed down, get it somewhat situated, and then bring it back inside. But it is raining, so we'll see how far this plan gets tonight. A lot happened off camera. <laughs> Forgot to update y'all, but we got that in. We got our brakes bled. I went ahead and uh, finished our last uh, wheel hub nut torque. Put the cotter pin in. Almost forgot about that. I put brake fluid in this old girl and I vacuum bled it, which isn't the best way to do it, but I figured we're not trying to drive it. So, so far, I do not see any leaks. My only real fear was this line right here because it kind of fought me coming apart, but it is dry. As you can see, dry there. And then I got really bored and I wiped my wheels off. Dry all right there. Dry here, um, which I didn't expect to have any issues there, but you never know. And then in the back here, also dry. So we are, I don't know, probably 15 for 15 on this uh brake line kit on not having anything and i was just trying to start it and i was like oh crap i haven't picked up the camera so we're gonna hook up our battery which it has been disconnected this whole time but i'll tell you what it's hard to get a battery to live in here okay air filter real quick you guys can hear the key beeping in the background which means we got everything hooked up but i do want to at least prevent some leaks here or dirt getting in here so let me slide this on and then we'll fire it up i don't care who you are that pdd air filter golly we have a black one now too i gotta get it out i just wasn't gonna put it on and let's clear the tire and uncut <coughs> see how this thing starts here actually let's check our trains they sound good should be yep sucking through which we don't want to let that run for too long because there's a blanket there now we got to get the lift pump to go not sure if it's that dead or what four wheel drives off Huh, let me play around with it. Well, after about an hour and a half, our kill switch has failed. That's pretty cool. But either way, we have the click. Um, so now we can fire this up. Uh, basically, I intercept fuse 42 for a kill switch for sled pulling. And I guess our switch has gone bad. Who would have thought? So 
Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, now we should have communication and we should have ignition. Oh, like it's never been off. Like it's never been off. So for those of you guys that are confused here, uh, we have this switch back here. Um, this is our pull or push uh, for... So it's push off or drag racing, pull off or sled pulling. I just flipped the switch around. Um, and it essentially intercepts the diesel PCM signal. Uh, so unfortunately, it looks like this has officially, unofficially, whatever, uh, failed. Um, I have power back here and I don't have any power uh, coming out of it. No matter which way I orient the switch uh, lever here. So we put this in in 2020. So it's been, God, how many years? Four years, three and a half at least. So anyway, let it, let it be. But because of all of this, it is now almost dark. It is cold. It has been raining on and off and on and off. So I hate to do this to y'all, but I think we're going to wrap up the video. Uh, I do need to kind of get the bla ugh, brakes bled a little bit here. The pedal still feels pretty spongy, unfortunately, so we'll have to do a manual bleed, I'm sure, but uh, I was about, I was on the phone with Nick Bell, we were about to put a PC or ECM in this thing, and turns out it was just that, so I'm glad we checked it. Okay, I want the pedal sinking all the way to the floor, let's see if we have any brake. Ooh, barely. Barely any brake, and my brake pedal keeps getting stuck under my floor mat. So we'll have to we'll have to get a helper out here to help me bleed the brakes, but I mean they work, just not very well. So that'll do for right now. Well if it ain't one thing, it's another. I must have cross-threaded the brake line when I put it on because we chewed up the threads here and we have a leak. So spoke too soon, went to try and really push on the pedal and we have brake fluid on the floor. So is what it is. Uh, like I said, this, this, this is on me. You could clearly see the threads are boogered up. So um, I put a 48RE torque converter bolt in there to kind of keep it sealed for right now. I'm not sure if I can even really push on the pedal that hard, but it has stopped the leak. So I'm going to get uh, unfortunately it's Saturday, so I can't even get it. So I will get it overnighted and we'll have it on Tuesday. Um, so kind of sucks. I'm hoping that with that plugged like that, um, I should be able to move this thing around, but it is just pouring rain still. So I'm going to get this cleaned up. Uh, truck runs, which is awesome. It didn't need an ECM, which is awesome. And this is the finished product. I'm curious to get the bed on it and see how low the back is compared to the front. I, it's been a minute since we've seen it all together. So I don't remember, but I definitely think we'll probably have to go down a little in the front to match the back. Uh, I got to clean up all this brake fluid now and yeah. So in closing guys, after probably four or five videos, uh, we do have the brakes on. They did work until that line blew, which again, that's my fault. Should have been paying more attention when I was threading that fitting on and I wasn't. So we'll pay the price in overnight shipping, but a lot of good progress. All the back ends cleaned up. We could put the bed back on and everything looks nice now. Like we could take the bed on and off. Uh, all of the looms done. We deutched everything. We got all stainless brake lines. Everything's hooked up. We just had a slight little mishap there. So it is what it is. Obviously not ideal, but such is life. So now I'll get this one thrown up here, edited for you guys. Hopefully you like this video. Drop your comments down below. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And as always, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one.